Good morning, everybody. There's something I need to talk to y'all about today. Because, you know, like I said, a lot of times I talk about stuff that people be thinking about that they don't want to address. So, so here's one of those things. When we are having, we call it a goody day at work. Some people call it a potluck. You got to be careful. You got to be real careful. You wonder why every time you bring something to the potluck, you always taking the whole dish home, aren't you? Well, let me explain this. When we sitting around talking and you tell us, you tell your team, especially black people, that you got three dogs and ten cats and you come to work with dog hair and cat hair all on your clothes do you really wonder why we won't eat your food we ain't eating your food and you got animal kingdom up in your house cause see what black people do we imagine, you know, the cats jumping up on the counter. We imagine them, you know, licking the spoon and you, and you putting the spoon back in the bowl, stirring it in a brownie mix, baking it, and then bringing it to work. We don't have animal kingdom in our house like that. Especially not in the, the, the kitchen. Now, y'all need to understand. There is something that is called potluck etiquette. And if you have a bunch of dolls and cats and stuff like that in your house, parakeets, I mean, all different kinds of animals, you come to work and you tell us about it, we are not going to eat your food. Then you can talk about, yeah, Roscoe wouldn't get out of my bed last night. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Your dog in your bed too? Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. So here's what you need to do. If you done told your whole team that you got Animal Kingdom up in your house, always, always volunteer to bring the condiments. Paper plates, napkins, forks. Cause you gonna keep wasting your money. We don't eat behind animals, especially black people. We barely let our dog in the house listen. When I was coming up, my dog stayed outside in the yard. He was chained to the tree. He didn't even have no collar. The only time Bunchy Boy came inside is when there was a thunderstorm. No, no, no. Let, let me take that back. It had to be thundering and lightning. Both of them thundering and lightning. And the only time he came in is because we thought he was going to get electrocuted. Out there. <laughs> we thought he was going to get uh, hit by lightning with that chain out there around his neck. Now I'm trying to help y'all. You're going to keep taking the food home because you got all them animals in your house. Bring the paper plates and napkins. you are nasty self. At least get the, the hair, the animal hair off your body before you come to work. Ain't nobody eating behind your pets. <laughs> 